what ways do one let me start with the ladies what ways do ladies exhibit their insecurities uh you know as they flow through life what are some of the realities for ladies it's just the way we are created mm -hmm. you know growing up uh, as a young girl yeah. you then become a young woman and then you become uh if god wills you become a wife and maybe a mother mm -hmm. we go through so many transitions right. one after the other so you find for example at a certain phase of your life you have pimples on your face but then it becomes such a big deal for you that you dwell all your mind and focus even when that even the one even, that's when it's passed yes you now yeah. when it's passed you feel like it left some marks mm -hmm. now it's about my skin oh no when, when that is passed, passed, my, my, my donors, yes. Like, okay, so. Yeah, so for us, that's how, you know, through the transitions, mm -hmm. I would say it's how we project our insecurities. Right. Because then it's just how we are created, mm. but somehow they really affect us. Mm. That by the time, for example, one is a mother, your body is changing, you may be adding a little bit of weight or right. you're losing weight. Uh -huh. uh, the baby comes, some these transitions, mm. Mm. I just don't know how they also in turn become very big insecurities for right. us. Yeah. That's but I'll say in the transitions. In the transitions. Yes. Ayla, what do you think? I mean, what's... Uh... Well, of course, I think culture also has a big role to play <coughs> because society has expectations. You'll see it in the magazines, in the television, the, the shows. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The type of women that they show, are, mm. they look a certain way. Right. So you'll also feel like some kind of pressure to look like them okay have your face a certain way mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and these stages <laughs> of life are actually normal they are normal if you're a mom right. and your body grows that's a sign of you giving life mm -hmm. it's something to be sort of proud of and thankful to god okay for. okay okay yeah okay. and then uh, i think also the main thing of insecurity that comes to men is when we don't achieve much so you because you are competitive in nature and you're seeing your your peers are really doing well mm. and then you're not doing as well there maybe it's academic or business or i mean almost like see what them right mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. so it really gets you to ask yourself what's wrong with me right is it i'm not rich enough i'm not poor enough like uh -huh. stuff like that so uh -huh. yeah we have them we have them and we express them mostly in, in aggression mm. and bullying um, oh, aggression, bullying. Yes. All right. Do you think some, these are some of these things that also cause guys to just go into things like drugs and yes, all these yes. crazy things and stuff. Yeah. Mm. yeah. The, the yeah. Drugs, because um, you also want to fit in in a group. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. And then you will always be with those people who will accept you. Right. Mm. Drug people really love each other. Yeah. Uh, so that your exit gangs plan leads you into something else that is even probably even, why, Or maybe uh, you're even why, taking right, yeah, something yeah. that yeah. Uh, makes you feel like you have biceps and yet you're a skinny person. Hey, so your mind is just yeah, yeah, yeah. like this. Yeah, unava big, mashati tight tight. You know. hey, no. Unava mashati tight. <laughs> Nine Nine tight. tight. <laughs> yeah. But I think for us, rather, yeah, yeah. for us, the prayer is. God, is there a way you can just take away all these yeah, yeah, insecurities? Yeah. Oh, for, for the lady? Yeah, for us oh, it's it, just... Can I live without this? Yes. Yeah. How will I just live without adding weight? How will I live without having any acne or um, pimples on my face? Okay. How will I live without uh, worrying if I am shaped in a certain way? It's just take it all away. What is the greatest truth that will liberate us from this kind of life? Because we need to agree that insecurities are a bunch of lies, all right? Mm -hmm. There are things that are, they are there, yes, they might be real, but they're not the truth. And so what is the greatest truth that will liberate men and women from such insecurities? Like Naini mentioned about wanting to pray these things away. Right. Uh, the truth is, mm. even as Christians, mm. we are children of God that, like that's meant to be our main identity. Right. Mm -hmm. Children of God. Mm -hmm. That does not take away our insecurities. They will still be there. But then mm, us okay. remembering that God calls us by name and we belong to him has to be our main source of focus mm -hmm. more than our insecurities. Right. That we should not just focus on them and forget who we really are in mm -hmm. the eyes of God. Right. Because that will mean that we are being conformed to the standards of the world, which is not what we are supposed to do mm. as Christians. Romans 12 one tells us to be conformed into the ways of the Lord, like to be to do that which God has called us to, mm -hmm. to do okay. and to be. So yeah, we trust mm -hmm. in the Lord mm -hmm. and look to Him more than our insecurities. All we right. should not allow those to be what 
our lives are revolving around. Right. Yes. Now she says, I, mean, I don't know whichever of you probably can respond to this. She's added the fact that it is true that my identity in the Lord as a believer, I have an identity in God, yet it does not take away their insecurities as such, especially if they are physical, if they are things that are here and there. Yeah. What do you guys have to say about that? As, as we talk about the greatest truth that will liberate us from these things, yeah. I think I can just add on what she has yes. said. Well, um, I love the fact that she has coupled it with, you know, uh, having Christ. Right. And I'll say the same way. I look, I look at it as, or I look at us as houses that are under renovation. See, when a house is being renovated, it means it has some defaults. Mm -hmm. That default will not be taken. The house will not be demolished. The house is just being upgraded in value. That's who we become when the Holy Spirit dwells inside of us. Right. That the, the, the insecurity we have is not basically being taken away but then he makes us appreciate in value even mm. when we have our insecurities case in point i'll look at moses uh -huh. who was a stammerer he literally just told god he can't speak yeah, i can't you know yeah. this is not my thing completely mm. and he was disqualifying himself from what would be his destiny and his calling but you see when god uh walks with moses we see Moses more, uh, we see Moses above his insecurity. Mm. At no point do you hear anyone saying, uh, Moses the stammerer who mm. parted the Red Sea. Mm. It's not mentioned in his name anywhere. So right. we get to see him above his insecurity okay. because then he had God. So mm. I feel like like uh, what I was just saying earlier on, as much as sometimes we see, we feel like it's easier to pray that the Lord will take away our insecurities. Right. But the truth is he doesn't take away our insecurities. He uses us to glorify himself even mm. with our insecurities. Right. He doesn't take them away. Yes. <laughs> like one of the greatest truths about insecurity is that we have insecurities because we are sinners. Mm. Um, God created us perfect and our sinful nature will always want us to look at what God has done as mm. imperfect. Right. So we look at ourselves without sin. Trust me, right. everybody will be perfectly beautiful and we will enjoy each person's limitation and compl compliment them. Sin is the one that is telling us you are not God's children, you are right. not worthy, you mm. are not mm. good looking, you are not, you are not. But when you are in Christ, God is reminding you that I'm the one who gave you stammering, a stammering tongue. I'm the one who gave you that height. I love it. And all this... Romans 8, 28, mm. I will use all this for the good of those who God loves. So God is what he wants to use you the way you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Even with the weaknesses, yes. mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm reminded of 2 Corinthians 12, 9, which tells us, um, yeah, for there's a part where it says, therefore, like Paul, despite his weaknesses, that therefore I will boast all the more gladly. Mm -hmm about my weaknesses so that Christ's power mm. may mm. rest in me. Mm. Like right. he's not right. even anywhere close to hiding them because he knows mm. it is in these weaknesses mm. that Christ's power is going to rest in him. Right. Yeah. So yeah, these are things that we are we're actually free to boast about mm. because we are in Christ. Right. Mm. What are your insecurities and what do they drive you to do? So we have insecurities, real deal. But there's a greater truth. You are someone in Jesus Christ. If you're there and you're not born again, you're listen, listening to these things. It is hope, hopeless for you to try and sort those things out minus Jesus Christ. The only place you have a true identity and a true, true, true meaning of life is in Christ. And as it has been said, in Christ, we realize that we are his workmanship, fearfully and wonderfully made. Um, I tell you what, this conversation of insecurities is something that you cannot run away from. And we know that over and above all things, oftentimes the 90 has mentioned it properly you are probably your worst bullet. The bullet you shoot yourself with is probably worse than what an enemy can try to shoot at you because this one is unnecessary. Once again, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kuza Podcast and we are out.